Hello, and welcome to another fun-filled Sunday. Fuck off, asshole! Leave me alone! Don't you know it's fucking Sunday? Oh my gosh, what is this business? It is the brand new version of Reactor that has come about. And it's, uh, it's a really interesting update to the Reactor Blocks technology, especially. So that's what we're going to take a look at. And... What you can see when I first open Reactor, it now has this welcome screen. It says, welcome to Reactor 6. What would you like to do? Uh, play with Reactor instruments. And I assume that would just open up the list of like standard instruments that I have, like Monarch and Rounds and Polyplex and things like that. Uh, patch, which is some brand new business. It's really cool. Um, but experiment with uh, front panel facing uh, reactor modular racks and that's a new concept within reactor that we're also going to get used to it's a concept instead of ensembles we're going to call them racks because that's kind of really what they are um, it's emulating a euro rack um, modular synthesizer and with the front panel uh, front panel facing uh, uh, patching it really really emulates that as well um, so actually what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to go into, uh, reactor, uh, blocks, and I'm going to open up a rack from the blocks prime or blocks primes, uh, section. And there's a number of options like bass and effect, kick bass, percussion, soundscape, tutorial. I'm just going to open up a few different ones. So as you can see, uh, it looks quite a bit different. And what I'm going to actually do is just play around with some of these. Um, and kind of get introduced to this new way of looking at reactor blocks. So this is really interesting because you can see all the connections on the front panel of the instrument. And... <laughs> It's just wild. So as you can see, um, the mod wheel is patched to a number of things. So, uh, you know, you see all these different connections to... Uh, the actual, uh, you know, different different uh, modules or blocks that you have in this in this rack, and um, what what you see up here is an ability to toggle between a few different views, and this default view is the ports and wires view. So this is essentially the view that um, the default kind of reactor uh, blocks uh, primes will take you to nowadays, which is the ability to do front panel patching. Uh, if you click to the ports view, um, this just, you know, highlights all the different ports 
and essentially gets rid of all the patch cables so that you can see all the blocks for what they are without all the patching. And then the compact view is the traditional reactor blocks. So this is the way reactor blocks used to look, essentially. And, um, you know, this is very familiar. This is exactly the way it used to look. But with this complex view, ports and wires view, this is exactly like a Euro rack. It's freaking wild. And the possibilities are endless. And if you show the structure view, you can if you want to. Uh, if you show the structure view, you see now there's a whole new kind of UX that's kind of dark and purple and freaking badass looking, if you personally, if you ask me. And all of the patching that you make here is also automatically made here in the structure view. So this is the traditional reactor blocks method of patching, and this is what it used to look like. You know what I mean? You would be patching things together in this view down here, and then uh, that would be affecting what you see up in the view up top. And then you could always hide this view if you wanted to, and that was the way it used to look. But now with the ability to, to patch right here, on the panel, it just allows you to hide this structure view if that's not used to, you know, if you're not used to working that way, if you're kind of familiar with Eurorack uh, patching and abilities, but not necessarily uh, familiar with Reactor, um, you know, this can be kind of intimidating, you know what I mean? But this, boom. This gets rid of all that, man. So it's just damn cool. Damn cool. And a few other things. Um, essentially, when you want to add, uh, when you want to add new um modules add new blocks to your rack it's really simple to do so you know if you didn't want to have the side pane up you can have the side pane up and that's fine and you can navigate to you know let's see where you now navigate to the area okay here's my blocks primes here's my individual instruments so let me drag those in here you know you can do that normal thing but if you just want to have this kind of front panel showing which is really damn cool, by the way. Um, then you can just hit the enter key and start searching, say, oscillator. And all of your oscillators... Oh, I just selected one. Didn't even know what I selected. Um, but, you know, just start searching, os. And all of the oscillators that you have, you know, the native instruments ones, I have some... Euro React ones, I have some toy box ones. Um all of the all of the blocks that you have, you know, let's see filter. You know, maybe I wanna maybe I want the actual just the name of it, whatever it is. It's a clock divider. So clock divider, okay. Native instruments, box plan, clock divider. You know, this is exactly what you get. Just the ability to just call up the block that you're looking for use key commands like i just use the delete key on the keyboard to get rid of that so it's real simple to find things that you're looking for based on um prefixes like little flt prefixes or entire words just filter you know what i mean i can find all the things that have filter in the name so it makes the ability to add um, to add new uh, blocks to your rack uh, just infinitely more easy in this case. So it's really, really cool. Really super cool. Really super cool. And so back in the side pane, you know, if you're going through the different racks, like I'm going through the base folder right now, this is ancient talking, Bremen Town musicians, good company. But again, maybe I don't want to have this showing. I can actually browse through those different racks in this menu here. So this menu here is now actually just pointing to all the different racks in that folder. So I can get to a different folder too 
but this is pretty cool as well. It's just a, a different option that you can use to navigate around. So I'm going to not save and open up a different instrument. It's pretty easy to just kind of cycle through. Cycle through the different instruments. See how it's connected. <clears throat> In this case, you know, actually just do some rearranging. Good lord. too bad a little bit better at least I can see it all in one go so let's add another oscillator to this West Coast. So hook this into the pitch of the carrier. Turn on key tracking. That's uh, definitely going to be key. Leave the mod off of key tracking. You can just... And this would be cool to mod whale mood. Nah, I see what I did there. So. so now it's uh, modulating the FM on this, just maybe just a little.
So very easy to add stuff, obviously, to existing, um, you know, existing racks. And to patch them up, and man, I just never thought, you know, the of course, man, having a note in or a midi in on every single rack, it's just a must, a must, because you wind up um, being able to, you wind up being able to patch that into whatever the hell you want, <clears throat> and then. Uh, you know, I mean, this is just one folder, you know what I mean? Like, this is just the, just kind of digging into, this is the base folder, actually, let's see. Yeah, just in regular blocks primes, just the base folder. Let's see what we got. We got our rounds, reverbs. We got some other stuff from your React and Toy Box. We're gonna do that on one of the next ones. Um, but for now, we got our rounds. We're gonna rounds, reverb, and this be it. And um, gonna try to do some rearranging. And we're gonna come out of the VCA into. My friend, the rounds out the output. <laughs> So we're going to patch the mod wheel nah, into um, the modulation A. And as you can see, I mean, 
This stuff, if you, again, if you dig into the structure view, this stuff is just happening. You know what I mean? You, do, you don't have to do any rearrangement. You don't have to do any blah, 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 blah. You just do it all right here, man. It's awesome. Until next time.